Uh, my name is Ed Snowden. I'm uh, 29 years old. I work for Booz Allen Hamilton as an infrastructure analyst for NSA uh, in Hawaii. Ba, 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 ba. What's up guys? Kennedy Reviews here or Brandon Kennedy if you know me personally and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about the documentary that feared Americans and that is Citizen Four and Let's talk about this movie real quick. Um, Citizen Four. Citizen Four is about, um, it's a real-time based documentary based on the NSA whistleblower, Edward Snowden. Um, he stars in this film. And this is how he exposed a bunch of security programs to the news outlets like The Guardian, Washington Post, about our government spying on us. And through, through phones, internet, laptops, emails, credit card purchases, Amazon searches, you know, all that other kind of stuff. On June 2013. Um, this movie um, felt like a true spy thriller, like something out of a spy thriller. Like you, you can't just fake this stuff, all right? If you watch the movie, this is, you can't fake this stuff. Um, the real world, this is what the real world's like since what we, we're all paranoid. We're all in fear of our own government watching us, destroying our privacy. You know what I mean? It's just like that. Um, and this is how, you know, the people who are filming this, they actually met Snowden in a Hong Kong hotel. And I, I, I love the, the, the spy thing, you know, because he was, that how they met was really interesting to me. It's like, he was fixing a Rubik's cube and they used code phrases, like so, because Edward was so paranoid. And that's how they meet him in the hotel. I felt like that was really one of the starring moments of this documentary. And yes, before we start with this video, this real time based documentary, make sure to comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell for upcoming reviews. And yeah, let's talk about Mr. Snowden for about two minutes or two. Yeah. Let's talk about the main star of this documentary, Mr. Edward Snowden, born on June 21st, 1978. He went to community college and went to the University of Liverpool overseas. Um, he later joined the army for a short time and then became a computer security consultant for Booz and Hamilton. For Booz and Hamilton, yes. And he worked at a Kunia camp in Hawaii. Now, filming right here in Hawaii, that's where I'm doing it right now, in my, in my bedroom, you know what I mean? The fact is, my dad actually met the guy in a Starbucks. Well, he saw me because he saw this Howley guy. So yes, they didn't talk, but my dad saw Mr. Snowden in the Starbucks. And to me, it was, that was the whistleblower that my dad looked upon. I mean, he looked and he saw him and you know the story. Um, what else? Make sure you, before you, you new YouTubers, make sure you get a book, write down some notes before you start recording. You don't want to just blabber all this stuff. Um, on June 10th, 2013, he planned to go to Hong Kong and exposed a bunch of government and information to the government, to the Guardian, Washington Post, all the other stuff, and CNN too. And he now lives in exile in Russia as of May 20th, 2013. So Mr. Snowden is now living in Russia at the time right now. Ukraine is at a war with Russia. I don't know what is going on there. I think he's staying there at the point. Oh, of course he's staying there. He's in exile, so no one's gonna bother him. So the last, so if you watch this documentary, this documentary spits facts, like factual ideas. And some recordings of NSA headquarters and a bunch of NSA stations being around. Um, and they spit you facts, all this other crap, and then they fucking, like, it brings fear. It really brings, because, I can't wait to talk about the next part. Part three of this video, the way it brought fear for us as an Americans, all right. How did this documentary bring fear to Americans like me? Well, it brings fear to the viewers in so many different ways that you just can't comprehend. 
um, from the soundtrack, we got Trent, Riz Trent, Trent Reznor um, doing the score. Oh, he, they, they shared some songs in the movie, but you know, he did the songs, but for Nine, in um, Nine Inch Nails Frontman, if you guys don't know. Um, the fact the facts that are shown on screen about, you know, these programs, you know, what they're doing to us, this program called PRISM, like they track you based on a person's interest, like this guy has a background and sh stuff like that. It's pretty scary to think about. Um, Verizon is checking your phone calls, you know, every, like all, like Verizon has a spreadsheet of like a million users who sign up for Verizon, they're watching people with their phone calls and stuff and that was really scary um the fact is that big brother aka the u.s government is always spying on you no matter what and it's attack on personal privacy in my opinion and it distracts um it brings distrust to our local government and the american people who we vote to put in congress and allow this to happen and it really is just shameful it, it was a big headline back then and today we don't care it's just it was really scary times back then and right now we're living in 2022 with a war and a bunch of shootings so yeah okay guys that will be it for the video today uh, make sure to comment down below, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And the next video we're going to talk about is Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness. Was it mid? Well, here's the thing. kind of was. But we're going to explain that in another video. Alright? Peace, guys. We'll see you in the next video.